Welcome back. So we've successfully built uh, our um, new image, which is based on the uh, Ubuntu image. If you remember, if you remember from last video, that we always need a, a base image to run on, to to build on. I'm sorry. Now what we what we're going to do in this video is to give it give our newly created image. We'll give it a tag or a name, so we can refer to it using that name instead of using the ID. Let's create a, a new image quickly. So run our base image, which is the Ubuntu image, with the bash, let's go in there, run it quickly. So if you notice, this one doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have uh, the wget tool, the one we created uh, and saved last time, does have the, the, the wget and curl tool, but well, let's just do it uh, again quickly. So apt get update first, let's update. Hopefully it won't take, it won't take too long. Do an app that get up get update and then uh, app get install wget and then say yes. Let's install, install maybe wget and install um, you know the curl tool quickly as well. Or maybe let's, let's just forget that. Let's not install the, the curl tool. Let's just create this image. Uh, yeah, so now what we can do is if we exit and do docker ps minus l, this is the latest container that we ran and its ID is this one. So we can uh, maybe copy the ID. And then what we can do is you can see docker commit. This is how we commit the changes to this container and build an image out of it. Docker commit as we did last time, and then we give it the ID. Yeah, we give it the ID. The first three characters are enough as long as they're unique from other uh, IDs, but we can give the full ID if we want. We commit that, and it gives us the new image ID. So again, this is the new image ID. And if we list, if I list my images, the images that we have on my system, this is the latest one, and you notice the image ID begins with DEFF10F and so on and so forth, DEFF10F and so on and so forth. Right, if you notice the list of the images that I have here, uh, one was created not, not, not long ago, a few minutes ago, I was just experimenting with this one. Um, the other ones, they have like names, yeah, you can see the repository, and you can see the tag, whereas this one that we created now, it doesn't have a tag, and that's not good because if we keep it like that, then whenever we refer to it, we have to we have to use the ID. And what we don't want is to actually use names rather than uh, IDs. What we could have done to give this uh, to give this image a name is when we did the commit, we could have given it a name by saying, for example, um, my my image. Or something like that. Yeah. So the previous one, I gave it just my name, no Dean Ubuntu. Uh, people can call it Ubuntu. You can give it any name that you want. Let's call it here. Let's call it here, my image. So when I do the commit, I could have said my image, hit enter, and it will create an image and give it the tag my image. Or after I have created it, what I can do now is I can say Docker tag and pass the image ID and then give it the tag that I want. So if I hit enter now. Uh, it's complaining that it doesn't actually see that. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is not the image ID that I copied earlier, this is the container ID, and what I want is the actual image ID, yeah? And I can notice from the image IDs I have here, the three letters, the, the three first letters are unique, so I can use them instead of using the long, uh, the long image ID, D, E, F, and if I hit enter now, it will give the, that image which has which has an ID that begins with these three characters, it will give it a tag of my image. We could we could have used the full image ID for if we wanted, but as we mentioned before, as long as this, the first three characters are unique, then we can use them to save time. So again, let's list the images that we have. Let's list them, and now you notice that this image now the the latest one that we created now is called my image. If I want to run it now instead of using the image ID, I can say the image run minus ID run interactively, and I can say my image. I can do 
I can hit tab and it will auto complete. And let's say let's run bash. We're inside and we have the wget tool in it as you can see. I hope this is making sense now when we started to get the feel and get the idea behind Docker. Let's stop here and next time we'll try to create Docker images but we'll do them automatically uh, via the Docker file as we are going to see. Thanks again and see you next time.